any response, and this is away from the portfolio responsibility of foreign affairs, any response to that latest political poll, which indicates that New Zealanders, and this is by the large uh, rise in support for ACT, um, you guys didn't do too badly. Overall, the government seems to have done well. Um, the suggestion that we are, there is an appetite for a discussion on the interpretation of the Treaty of Waitangi or the principles of it in the context of modern New Zealand. And I had a political commentator, Bryce Edwards, say yesterday, the issue around the treaty may prove to be New Zealand's Brexit moment, where established elites uh, finally realise that people haven't been with them for a few decades and they want to have a say. Um, are you surprised by those polls or not? No, I'm not surprised by those polls, other than that the massive disparity between uh, the Courier poll and Roy Morgan. Mm. You know, you cannot have a credible polling industry where overseas at the gaps 2.5% between major pollsters, they meet to try and work out what's wrong with their methodology. In New Zealand, the gap's massive, and they all arrogantly say, mine's right and they're wrong. They are misleading in the extreme side. Pay no attention to the amateurism that we are seeing from a first world country, New Zealand, when it comes to pollsters. Now, having said that, here's where this matter's going to go, and I'm not in charge of it, but I made out New Zealand first position very clear. We're going to have a review of all those pieces of legislation where the Treaty of Waitangi principles are uh, mentioned, and there are countless ones. We're going to make sure that if any reference is made, it has relevance, and we're not going to go down the pathway of this, uh, what I would call, uh, jurisprudential activism, developing policy, developing policy that's tying the law into this country without any mandate, any electional uh, approval by the people of this country, and just as an elite, moving on as though they are the only people that can be trusted with this issue. And here's the paradox. I have said since 1987, in that famous Justice Cook case, there is no such thing as a partnership. There is no such thing as the principle of treaty of Waitangi. I take the view of the great scholar, jurisprudential scholar, who got a law degree in two years, Sir Aponangata, who said in very clear 102 years ago, and that out in a book, which I've got an original copy of, what the treaty was about. But you've had all these people inventing the law, making it up as they go along, and as a consequence, it is a right mess. But here's the paradox. The Tainui King, at Narawahia recently ended up his meeting with all those people there, they claim to be 10,000 there, saying the Treaty of Waitangi has no principles. And I thought, good Lord, here we go. Now he agrees with me, right? Mm. He says it's got no principles. Now, did any journalists see the an anomaly here? Mm. Did they write long articles about what the paradox was here? How fast will this has become? Not one. Yeah. So well, it seem, just seems strange, Mr. Mr. Peters, that you and at your caucus and the ACT caucus seem to be in agreement on this, on the very things we've just spoken about, and it seems some people are a little frustrated that the Prime Minister won't really commit one way or t'other on this issue. Are you a little frustrated at that? Well, no, I'm frustrated as, as to how this has developed, but we've signed a coalition agreement and I'm going to go along with it and uh, vote for ACT to have this bill of theirs go to a uh, committee, and that's as much as the commitment we've made as National has made. Mm -hmm. But here's my point. It's a bill about the principles of the Treaty of Waitangi, which my party believes does not have any yeah. basis at all. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, I, 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 I do. But you're not means. ruling out saying if this legislation changes or morphs and it means the country has a worthwhile conversation, you're not saying, I'm not going to back it past uh, first reading, right? Your caucus would still entertain um, well, our, going our caucus admits, Well, our court, uh, caucus says this bill is misaligned when it comes to okay. the matter of the principles because that's the very argument we've got. But we're saying, but to be honest, this issue is so serious, there may just, at the select committee, emerge a consensus of common sense with which we can agree. So we haven't shut out the possibility that that might happen, as odd and as strange and as rare as we think it might be. Well, you formed a three-way coalition, so anything is possible. That is, so, so I just want to clarify then, and this is really, I thought we might get to this point. The very process of going to that first reading may result 
in members of the go government MPs from any party getting together and say, let's use this process to define what we're about and what the country uh, wants. We may get something quite different from that first reading process and that select committee process that everyone, National Act, New Zealand First can agree on. Well, we might get to the circumstances where we actually say what Ngata said, and alongside him at the time he had these brilliant people called Paul Murray, the Minister of Health, and uh, a guy called Peter Buck, who was not only a brilliant uh, politician, doctor, but also went on to be a brilliant anthropologist, esteemed right across the Pacific all the way to Hawaii. He might, we might get to the view of saying, actually, those guys, bright, trained, and the brilliant part of the young Maori movement arising back then all those years ago, actually, closer to the event, knew a whole lot more than the sociological woke people at university teaching all sorts of uh, uh, concocted crap, but there's no basis whatsoever. You go and ask them what the principal treaty white hanging are. Everyone that you talk to has got a different set of principles. You see how extraordinarily baseless this is? Mm. And how sort of indulgent they are? Mm. And it's not taking people anywhere because in the end, yeah. we are not getting the treaty, but we want the treaty to be what it was and always was, it would be, yeah. not something that they're now saying, we'll tweak it. 